Alright, we are on lesson 26, bubble 3. First thing you want to do is create the background. The sample game has two different backgrounds that we're choosing according to the score. First background has already been created for you. Alright, so here's background 1. Blah, 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 blah. And we run it, there's background one. Okay, there's also an empty function called background two. You need to fill that function with new code to make a different background. Then test the code by calling the function inside the draw loop. So here's the draw loop. Right now it's calling background one. So here's background two. Let's go ahead and mess around with it. And background. Let's go light blue. And maybe do no stroke on that. And then we will create a circle. So why not? And we'll choose a random size, just like these ones are. Right, so I'm just basically copying this right here. Zero four hundred zero four hundred and then three and three. need a fill color for the the lips fill color yellow you know what I'm just gonna copy all this because it'll be easier for me so I'm going to go from 19 to 22 19 to 22 19 to 22, copy, and then we're going to start here, and I'll make this whatever, some light color, um, I don't know, tan? No, let's make it orange. Why not? Let's get crazy. Okay. So, 0, 0400, 0, 0400, 33. 3. Looks good. 340, 50, 60, 60. Looks good. Fill color orange. Looks good. Okay. So now we have our background two function. And now I'm going to change this to background two. Let's see what happens. Ooh, creepy like a Star Wars sun. Okay, that is all they wanted us to do on this one. All right, we tested it. Yeah. All right. All right, score variable. Now you've created backgrounds. You need to choose when each background is drawn. For that, you'll need a score variable to hold information about your player's score. Do this. Create a score variable at the beginning of your game program. 
So there's your variable, score variable. And here's where it is, right? So let's drag it into variables. And it's score equals zero. And that's it. Okay, choosing the background. Now that you have your score variable, you can use it to choose the right background for your game. You can see an example of changing your background according to your score in Lesson 24, Level 9. Inside the draw loop, use an if statement and your two background functions to draw the background according to score level. Test your code by changing the start score to 100, then run code to see whether the background changes. Alright, so in the draw function, we're going to put the if else, if else. Okay, if we're going to do our math, the score is equal or greater than. So if the score is greater than or equal to 100, we want background 2. I can, just, I can just drag it from here. Okay, if the score is equal to or greater than 100, we want background 2. Otherwise, we want background 1. Okay, so right now, our score is 0, and it's background 1. And if we change this to 100, it goes to this other one, right? Cool. Okay, make a scoreboard. You also need a scoreboard so the player can keep track of the score. There's already a show score, a show score function written, but it only shows the text score, not the actual score. Read the code of show score. Call the function inside the draw loop right after you draw the backgrounds. Use text block to display the top of the score screen. Okay, so where's our score? All right, here's our score. Show score, white, 20. Text score is 10, 10, 80. All right, so I'm going to put this function, show score, in the draw loop. Function, function. Show score, reset, and there it is. Use the text block to display the score at the top of your screen. Okay, so that needs to be added in here. So the text. text all right on this one we want the actual score not the words text right so we don't want these quotes so the score 
and then I don't know, let's put it right here ish. What is that, like 99 and 20? 99 and 20. Okay, reset, run. That looks horrible. So let's bring this down a little bit. Let's try 90-20. No. All right, let's try 80-20. That's better. Oh, duh, here it is, her 80 20. Okay, 80 20. Doesn't look good. We'll go 80 30. All right, good enough. Good enough. Okay, now create a platform sprite. Now that you have your background and your variables, it's time to create. Okay, look at the worksheet. Choose a platform sprite to create. In the create sprites at the top of your code, create a new sprite with the create sprite block and give it the correct position and label. Set animation velocity by blocks. Okay. So here's our create sprite, and we'll call it platform because it's called a platform. Platform, and then set animation, platform, and there's our platform. And then velocity, it, it's going down, right? So the velocity is on the Y. Sprite velocity Y, platform. Oh, that's X. That's not what we want. Let's try that again. Platform velocity y is one. Let's run. It's good, but we need to move this over this way. So that would be our x. And let's go in 100. And check it out. Looks pretty good. But it's starting right in the middle, so let's go higher. Maybe like 10. That's good. And we're done. 